How do I even start such an important video? How's it? My name is Papa P and as always the P stands for Painting like Van Gogh. Today I'm going to try and live like one of my favorite artists of all time, Van Gogh. Now before I even start I want to mention another creator called Nathaniel Drew. He also made a video like this where he lived a day in the life of Van Gogh and you should 100% go check out his video and his channel because he's an incredible creator and an insane storyteller. But I want to do it myself as I have always wondered what a day in the life looks like as one of these incredible masters of the past. The first thing I needed to do was some research as I want to make this video as authentic as possible. So I did hours and hours of research and I found his daily routine on an article written by The Observer. There was not that much to read though, as the only documented writings of Van Gogh was often letters he wrote to his brother. In the one letter he talks of his routine he says, Today from 7 o'clock in the morning till 6 in the evening I worked without stirring except to take some food a step or two away. After I had done some reading and watched hours of videos on Van Gogh, I had to watch the movie At Eternity's Gate, as that was also a great way to understand Van Gogh's life a bit better. That movie is really, really sad. Anyways, I had to educate myself on Impressionism as well, as I myself have never painted with oils or in that style. The final thing I needed to do was to fly to the Netherlands. That's not possible. I don't have that kind of budget. Yet. So we are going to shoot here in South Africa, but I am planning to do it as close as possible to Van Gogh's daily routine. One of the first things that I'm definitely going to be doing is getting rid of all the technology tomorrow and have no access to the internet. The only thing that I will be using is my mic, my phone, and definitely the laptop to record the audio on. So with all that being said, tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and I will start to live a day in the life of Van Gogh. See you then. Good morning, so the day has finally come. We are going to be living a day in the life of Van Gogh. Um, he typically starts painting at about 7 o'clock. It's about 6.30 at the moment. Set my alarm, woke up quite early this morning. And you can see I've already primed the canvas outside. And I'm just preparing to start the day. Um, one of the biggest challenges I think we're going to be facing today is not only the time and the length of painting time he used to do. He used to paint from 7 in the morning till 6 at night. But it is also Van Gogh's eating schedule, as the only things that he had to eat were things like water, bread and potatoes. So to immerse myself 100% into this challenge, I will be doing the same. Um, I will resist all temptations from Charlize and I will just be eating dry bread and potatoes. I don't know how I'm going to feel at the end of the day, probably have football energy, but um, yeah, we're trying to live in the in the footsteps of one of the giants, so let's start doing it. So when I first had this challenge in mind, I thought for sure I would paint Table Mountain. But no, this little house in front of our home was perfect for my first oil painting. So needless to say, my first attempt at oil painting was a massive disaster. I had never painted with oils before and it felt like I had never painted before. Um, the paint just wouldn't pull, I had to apply so much paint at a time for any color to actually be visible and I just kept telling myself the things that I learned while I was watching those videos is just apply thick, thick paint to the canvas. But I felt like I was in preschool again learning how to paint for the first time so I was very frustrated with what the painting came out like in the beginning. Okay, it's about uh, 8 o'clock at the moment. Uh, it's been an hour of painting, uh, update on that, it's very difficult, I've never painted with oils before, it's, uh, I admire Vincent's way of layering because I've been trying to layer and so far it's just become quite muddy, but um, yeah, so it's 8 o'clock, it's breakfast time, 
as we all know, Vincent was a very basic man. He lived on things like walnuts, bread, and potatoes. And he wouldn't even butter his bread. So today I'm going to thank Blue Ribbon for not sponsoring me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to ration myself to just this bag of bread today. So there's one more piece left. So for breakfast, I'm going to be eating one piece of uh, dry bread. And I will be supplementing that with some water. I don't know how many of you guys have eaten dry bread lately. It's not great. Okay, so I'm rather gonna eat. <coughs> One sec. So I would rather eat half a piece of bread right now for breakfast and eat that whole thing. It's terrible to eat dry bread. Um, but at least there's something to eat, I guess. Uh, yeah, so let's get back into the painting. That was breakfast. Breakfast update one. I was then continuing the painting again, and this time trying to be more mindful of applying thick, thick layers of paint. But as my luck always dictates, it started to drizzle on me. Okay, it's starting to rain. Um, I'm gonna sit outside for a bit more, but I will probably move in the stuff now, so check you guys in a bit. So, attempt one, I think was a complete fail. So, yeah, it's only, it's only half past eight now. Um, I've got a whole day of painting ahead of me, so I thought I'm gonna flip this canvas and start a second one. Um, I think in the first one I learned a lot. The first thing being, uh, oil takes forever to dry, which I did see on all the videos I know, it's, that's what it is. But uh, the layering is so much more impressive than Vincent did. Um, just because the medium and what he, in the medium that he paints with is so difficult to actually give dimension and layering and things. So I have to say that I do admire his work more now that I've actually sat down and tried to do something similar. Uh, and the other thing that was alarming to me as well so far, I mean it's only been like three hours that I've been awake, is that these days we are so used to having a podcast in the background, listening to YouTube, uh, having music in our ears while we do something. And I'm opting out of all technology today, other than the camera. And the silence is, is almost deafening. Um, your thoughts become louder and louder. And yeah, I'm here by the ocean. I'm actually hearing the ocean for the first time in a long time. So, there's something to the silence, definitely. But anyways, let's get into the second painting. So, this is about 45 minutes into the new one. I am feeling much, much better about this one so far. I feel that uh, the first one I was too precious about the coloring and the, the shading and so, but this one I kind of feel that you should just put down colors and it becomes abstract and it becomes it becomes something. So I'm feeling much better about this attempt. So yeah, let me continue. <clears throat> this is where we're at at the moment. Um, yeah, I'm starting to enjoy this this um, style of work. I must say, dry bread is not for me. Uh, I must say that once you stop really thinking about it and remember that it's not realism, it's uh, so, not surrealism, it's, it's impressionism, uh, and. It's an impression of how you perceive something. It starts get it starts getting interesting. It starts getting more fun. Like this is not exactly the way it looks like outside. It's got some tendencies of it, 
But like this tree, I, I gave it a lot more pizzazz. So, yeah, first time using oil, very difficult. And myself not being much of a landscape artist, very difficult. But um, I'm happy with where it's getting. It's about 10 o'clock now. So I've been painting for three hours, three and a half hours almost. Um, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Another eight hours to go. <laughs> Another eight hours, another three slices of bread. Life doesn't get better than this. <laughs> Just it. You can suck it all day without butter. It doesn't get better. <laughs> okay, after four hours of painting, that's pretty much what I painted. And this is what I came up to the second attempt. So about two hours on this one, or two and a half hours on this one. And the first one was a bit of a fail. So, yeah, that's what we have to show for that. Um, I am struggling a lot with it because I have never been a, a person who has been painting landscapes and outdoor sceneries and things. So what I want to do is I don't want to give up. I want to do another painting as I am supposed to be painting until 6 o'clock tonight. But what I want to do is I want to take a walk and just see if I see anything interesting architectural wise. I'd like to paint on a bit of a smaller canvas since oil painting is not my forte. And then I want to see if I can see something beautiful, maybe some cool buildings, take a photo of it, come back home and then try and paint that. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take a slice of bread, uh, drink some water and yeah, we're going to get onto that. So let's do it. Okay, so I'm back from my walk and uh, yeah, I took a 45 minute break or so because oil painting is flippin' exhausting. Um, I don't know if it's because I haven't oil painted before or I'm just out of practice, but yeah, for painting for at least four hours already, four and a half hours, has drained my creative capacity completely. And it just gives me more respect for Van Gogh because he would sit for from six o'clock, no, from seven to six. So almost a full day he would sit and paint. A lot of respect to that man. Um, I think it's just because I have difficulty using the oil paint at the moment and I don't have that much experience. Maybe if I did it in acrylics, it would have been easier. Nevertheless, one of the things that I must say that I do feel at the moment is very hungry. This is my last piece of dry bread. I and mean, then tonight I'll be uh, eating some potatoes. Um, one of the things I must say is that he was often very lonely and and he was isolated when he was painting in the wild especially. And I understand why he would hear voices and he could see things because in a modern day, having no music, not listening to a podcast while painting, etc., I can fucking hear voices coming to me while I paint. And uh, so I definitely think this process of his, I mean, I've been painting for four, hour, four hours now, four and a half hours, has driven me to insanity as well. And it might be because I'm hungry, I'm malnourished at the moment. Um, I don't know what it is, but I am feeling a bit insane. Uh, anyways, after I finish my paintings tonight, I'm going to do one more painting, a self-portrait. Uh, six o'clock, I'll be drinking a whole bottle of wine to substitute for the absinthe that Van Gogh often drank when he went to the bar after his painting sessions. And then I'll go to bed and we have completed the Van Gogh day. Um, but yeah, interesting experience walking in the, in the footstep of a giant. Um, no regrets. It just gets a bit boring, but very interesting. I'm just kidding. I threw away about six or seven self-portraits. I am very easy to admit it. 
I am not an oil painter. Um, so, yeah, a bit disappointed in myself. I thought I'd be able to figure it out, but uh, the paintings that I made of myself, I just threw them away. I would be too embarrassed to show them to you guys. Um, but it's only, it's opened my eyes to something that I should be practicing still lives and a bit more realism. Because I do realize that I feel a bit like a one trick pony now. I'm very comfortable in the style that I've made for myself. But when it gets to any sense of realism, I suck. I've completely fucking suck. But anyways, it's time to eat some potatoes. Yes, the next pop. Finally, it's the part of the day that I've been waiting for the longest. It's potato time, baby. I can't wait to eat this potato. After eating only dry bread today, this potato is going to change my life. Okay, so as I said, 6 o'clock, it's time to open a bottle of red wine. Uh, Van Gogh famously drank absinthe at the at the uh, bar, but we don't have access to absinthe, so to substitute for that, I'm going to finish this bottle. So here's to the first one. Cheers. I'll probably get fucked up before the end of this video. Cheers. Let me continue eating. I'll check in with you guys just now. It's the last sip. <coughs> Another one. Of one fourth. So this is my favorite part of this day. We completed this challenge. We lived on bread and potatoes. We're finishing off with a bottle of wine. The paintings are completed. And uh, yeah, it was challenging, but we did it. And uh, cheers to Vincent Michael, one of the greatest artists of our generation. So that's the Vincent van Gogh video. I shot this video about two weeks before Christmas, but I delayed putting it out until now because I was disappointed, not so much by the video, but in myself. It was one of the first times in a long, long time that it felt to me I was unable to paint something. Uh, there were many challenges during this day. The hunger was hectic, but not that bad. But the main challenge that I had was not even the length of time that I had to paint, but the how much I struggle painting. Uh, it's one of those things that artists don't talk about that often, but it can be very taxing when you're trying something and it just it just doesn't want to work. And I wanted to do a few paintings this day. I only have one painting really to show for it. The self-portrait, I was very disappointed. Uh, I draw self-portraits all the time and it comes quite naturally to me. But doing it on oil, it felt alien. It felt like I was unable to create something and being a creative and branding myself as a creative surrendering to that realization was hectic to me it felt like i was losing my ability to paint so i took a few weeks off of youtube because it discouraged me quite a bit but i'm back and yeah i feel not too bad about this video looking back at it now there were some funny moments i don't think i delved into vincent van gogh as much as i want to but as i said there's another creator in the beginning of the video that i shouted out i'll put his link in the description go check out that video he delves in much much deeper into the the mindset and where vincent was staying and all that kind of thing so that's definitely worth a watch my video i think you should just watch if you like seeing me trying to do things but anyways it's a new year we're gonna face a lot of challenges to all my people who have been supporting me the whole time happy new years and merry christmas to you guys thank you again for all the love and support you guys show in all the videos that i make um 
I really enjoy showing it to you guys. I always have you guys in my mind when I'm creating these things and that is probably why I was disappointed in my paintings. This painting here, not too bad. I think I, I was kind of cut full of painting by the time I had to do the house. So if you're judging me on oil painting, judge me by this tree because it's a fucking lacquer tree. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Got a few good ideas for some videos coming. And uh, yeah, thank you so much again. Much love. Scoop-de-poop, poop, poop-a-pee-floor. <coughs>